All right, let's start out by masking our subject. I suggest using the pen tool and take your time with the mask. Double click on your layer mask again to the red area and let's just feather out our mask, especially on the hair and just anything that looks weird. Just feather out the hair usually though. Let's add a hue and saturation layer and desaturate any of the white or black areas. You'll thank me later. Let's add our mask to the scene and choose a dark background as your base. Find a background that you would like to use and make sure that the perspective lines of your subject and the background match. Let's use tilt shift to get our initial depth of field in the scene. Let's use a gradient map to get that nice dark background that we had selected at first and then I'm just blending out softly the background to make it soft and light. Also what we're going to do is add levels and then we're going to add brightness and contrast. Play around your layer mask to make that nice spotlight. Remember that white paint reveals and black hides. Now let's use a spotlight brush, add a little bit of intensity in the middle and then we're going to add some smoke to complement the scene. Have the smoke on low opacity. Now let's import our mask back to the scene once we create our environment. Take that mask and duplicate it. Put it down to a vertical distort and now we're going to add our shadow so add a color overlay on the top then we're going to use blur gallery and path blur. This is going to make it so that the shadow is not as intense as it gets farther away from the light. Let's add a shadow right underneath his feet after we figure out the gradient of the first shadow. Where the point of touch is that's where the shadow is going to be most intense. Now let's add a brightness and contrast layer. With this brightness and contrast layer just try and match it to what the scene would be without intense spotlight. Just So just notice your background then we're going to add a solid fill color of white and we're going to paint on those highlights that are coming from the spotlight. Always a good idea to add a subsurface light that's not as bright as the white to add on. Now let's clip a black fill layer and let's add on our shadows and paint our shadows. It's really important to get the bottom of the shoes because those are where the most shadows are going to be and it also makes the, the image always pop. Let's add a white layer on overlay to add the brightest of the brights. Utilize the adjustment layers like curves. Then let's add a gradient map going from black to white and let's put it on soft light to add that nice pop to our photo. Add any tweaks that you would like and boom, there you go, spotlight.